OK, if bar models could be cute, um, I think this is a, a cute one or this is a cute question. OK, um, let's have a look. Here are two rectangles. We've got um, the length of rectangle B is 80% of the length of rectangle A. And we're asked to find the length of each rectangle. So we have rectangle A and it's sort of overlapping at one edge with, with B. And we're given these two dimensions. The space here is 44 centimetres and the space left here is 90 centimetres. So, um, right, well, we don't know what this is and we, and we don't know... Um, what proportion of B, B's length is being covered here, or A. So, right, well, let's have a look. Now, there is a reason, if you look at my other videos, normally the question part is much smaller, but I've made it a little larger this time because I'm going to start by actually drawing on the diagram that's so helpfully been um, provided here. Um, and this is the bit that I'm going to focus in on at the beginning, where it says the length of rectangle B is 80% of the length of rectangle A. Now, 80% I will think of, uh, I'm going to think of as four-fifths, OK? And so I'm really going to think of B as four-fifths and A as five-fifths. OK, does that make sense? So, um, so what I'm going to do here is imagine I'm going to... Um, divide this into four equal, they're supposed to be equal, equal size pieces, okay, and then um, this is going to be a bit trickier, I'm trying to eyeball this, okay, I'm going to try and divide this one into five equal size pieces, these pieces should, are equal to each other, okay, so that makes, so now you can see that B is um, four fifths or 80 percent of a and guess what what is this now looking like this is actually looking like a bar model itself isn't it i mean if you have a look here look we've got if we follow this line down here and then follow this line bring this line up here look at this it's actually all looking a bit like a bar model so actually what i'm going to do is redraw this bar model and i am going to swap um this with this we're going to just move things around and then you will see actually how easy this is to solve so we're going to have a and we're going to have b all right and then a we are told is is the whole okay that's the five fifths so one two three four five okay there we go all right and b is four one two three four okay so that corresponds with the information that we were given here and then what have we got we've got we they they extend to the same length so so 90 centimeters and b is the same length as 44 centimeters and a okay so let's do this i'll get um another color here so we're going to say, for example, that that is our 44, OK? And this going to the same length here, all right? This must be the same end point. This must be 90, OK? And now, hopefully it's easy to see that if this is 44 and this is 90, then this bit here, okay, the one square must be the difference between 44 and 90, okay? And we can work out, we, we hopefully should all know that 45 is half of 90, so this must be um, 46. So we now know that each of these equal size squares, all right, is 46. All of these are 46. OK, I don't have to write it all in, but I've got a nice green pen, so why not? OK, so 46, 46. OK, so what am I asked then? Um, the length of rectangle, oh, find the length of each rectangle. That's what it was. OK, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 46. OK, so 5 times um, 46 Okay, so that's going to be um, 
230 centimeters. This is um, A, rectangle A, and then rectangle B, let's have a look, is going to be four times 46. So let's have a look. So 46 times four, Okay, that's 184. Okay, so 4 times 46 equals 184 centimeters. Okay, um, and there you have it. And um, as I said, I, I think it's um, quite nice because the actual the the diagram that you're given um, that poses the question is is really. Um, a bar model. It's just that you needed to redraw it to make it, more, you know, clearer so that you could see this part here. All right. I hope that helped.